Hello everyone, this is David. I'm back again making another video about uh, 52 volt batteries and I'm working on my electric Brompton as well. So from the last video, um, you remember I was having some problems with the throttle and it, uh, what happened was the voltage with these 52 volt batteries go up it goes up to 58.8. So I had this battery charged 100%, but um, what happens is my throttle doesn't work. So there was something, my controller doesn't work. I don't know why, but the controller didn't work with this battery. So once I dropped the voltage down, this is I think around 85%, um, I tested it and it works. So what I'm going to have to do now is find out what voltage this will work at before it cuts off or before it stops running. So right now I know it works at 56.6 and I'll show you by doing a test and then we'll raise the voltage a little bit more. We have the uh, cycle satiator here. So we're going to raise it a couple of... Um, raise a little bit more of the volts, and then we can find out exactly how much uh, voltage this thing will will run. Uh, will run. So right now it's at 85 percent. So let's uh, put this on the uh, on the bike and let it run for a second. Hey guys, I'm back. Um, I'm going to be uh, showing you my game plan to figure out how many volts I can charge up my battery before the uh, throttle does not work anymore. So if we have a, uh, let me get a pen here. Uh, this is a 52 volt battery and it goes all the way up to uh, 58.8 volts. So I know that, I'll put a little X here because I know that once it's fully charged, um, it's not going to the, uh, the throttle, the, the bike's not going to engage. I already charged it up. I, uh, another day I charge it up to 57.7. No good. However, I know that it works well with 56.6 volts. So I'll put a little check mark there. So what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be trying something this weekend. I'm going to chart, uh, use my cycle satiator. And I'll do seven, eight, nine, ten, and hopefully there'll be all check marks here, and then we'll figure out what what voltage it's going to stop at for to, uh, that I can't use it anymore. So I'm going to go down to check marks, and we're going to find out what what is the voltage that my uh, my controller stops. So uh, this is just the way I'm doing it. Just putting it on a piece of paper and just write it all down. And instead of doing like 57 or this, cutting it in half, I'm just going to do one. I'm going to do a ladder. Just ladder it up really quickly, really slowly, until it stops at something. So uh, that's my way of troubleshooting this. Hope you like it. Thanks. Hey, guys. This is David. Okay, so... Um, this uh, 52 volt battery has been charged to uh, 56.6, as you can see. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to increase it by to like 56.7 and see uh, what, and see if my uh, bike will work. Hey everyone, it's David again. So with my throttle. Works fine at 56.6. I charge it up to 56.7. Still worked. 56.8. No good. So now we know the mystery of the throttle. We know that this is the uh, probably um, the safest bet to um, how much voltage it can take. And I was surprised that only um, that it stopped here at 56.8. Uh, couldn't get the throttle to go. So uh, that's really about it. Now I know uh, what to um, satiate the uh, the battery to, and um, that's really about it. I'm a little bit, um, a little bit sad that I can't use 
more power to this battery, but it's probably going to last me for a long time since it's only going to be at 85%. I'll be using it uh, probably when I park and ride. And um, I go very fast with it. So, but it's a limited range. So I'll probably be taking uh, two batteries if I ever have to go door to door. So thanks for watching this video. And um, so now I know the mystery of the battery and how much voltage I can take with the controller that I have. Take care. Bye.